That's some dyslexic listing because we've said 954 and it's 564, so uh, we might flick them a quick message. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Twazzy Thrifters. Today we're going to do another, another pick and pack video. We have had 29 sales so far for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning. It's about 9.30, so not as many orders as usual, but some of them are going to be pretty interesting. For sure. So if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're putting out two videos per week because this is our full-time job now. So we want to show you guys what we have been selling. Let's get into it. Okay, before we get into the weekend orders, we'll show you a couple of things that have sold from that bulk lot and do a little bit of a breakdown at the end. We have been tracking from a few videos back the bulk lot that cost us $1,800. Yeah, so we have made a couple more sales this weekend, so we're starting to sneak up to that $1,800 break-even point. And obviously we want to make some profit, so let's get into those. Okay, the first one is this Netcom wireless power kit. We sold that for $29.95, so we'll add that onto the total, take away the fees and shipping, and give you an update at the end. We also sold another one of those DVD recorders. Uh, this one sold for $129 plus $15 post. That one was a Sony, so nice to get that one out the door. And last up from that bulk lot, we also sold this Netcom wireless. This is a 205, so 200 megabytes per second. So slightly less valuable than the other one. We sold that for $24.95 plus $4 as it went express. Now let's get into those 29 sales so far. Cheap DVD going out first, this Scarface Al Pacino Collector's Edition should be in one of these boxes down here. So we'll send that untracked, so that will cost us $3.30. Um, so region 1, so that one's um, for the USA or region free players. Another cheap DVD going out the door, this Oven Man, another region 1 actually, so this is from that big bulk lock we picked up ages ago, still selling stuff through. $17 on that one, so that'll go untracked as well, $3.30 cost. Um, nice little Mega Man sale. This was from the first lot of the bulk deals that we did recently. $29.95. Avalanche! Oh no, the T-Rex has gone off! <laughs> Calm down, mate. <laughs> You're very noisy. All right, a Caladad ink going out the door. We don't usually sell Caladad, but sometimes they do okay. We sold this 915, which is a replacement for HP 564 for 40 bucks free post. That's some dyslexic listing because we've said 954 and it's 564, so uh, we might flick them a quick message. <laughs> so one of those well-adjusted babies out the door. This one sold for $65. We picked them up, what, like three weeks ago? Like three of yeah. them? like five bucks each one left so keep your eye out for that book right there holds its value next one was these karate kid cassettes that we picked up not too long ago jazzy shared those on instagram we sold them for 50 bucks plus international postage so happy to get those out the door one dollar each i think we paid so good another cd going out the door the ones we pick up for 80 cents in a bulk lot rufus de soul so Lance remixed sold for 20 bucks Okay, another thing from that bulk lot of RPG books and maps and stuff we picked up a while ago, we sold this Ravenloft Realm of Terror Core campaign book for sixty dollars. Got all its maps in there. So cool. Someone's gonna love that. All right, in our last bulk deal, we picked up this banging Olufsen Bio Center Two Master, and it is untested. It is a part. We sold that for $200 plus $20 post. I would have walked straight past that in an op shop. Yeah. Learning. So nice little return on that. We got rid of this Orca men's uh, wetsuit for 100 bucks. It is new with tags. We picked that up a while ago, I think for like $11. So happy to get it out though for 100 We probably could have got a bit more on it, but it's just been sitting around. It's got a couple marks on it. So 11 into 100, we'll definitely take that. All right, we listed this and sold it very quickly, this Toy Max Shaker Maker for $55, including post. That again was from that third lot that we just picked up. So we're just getting through listing at the moment, but that is gone out the door. Um, the sachets in there were all complete. The paints looked a bit rough, but apart from that, it looked pretty good. Another belt going out the door. We sold this RM Williams brown leather belt for $75 free postage. Right on top because I sent them some measurements. Harry Potter books have been doing quite well for us when we do find them for a good price. This set cost us $30 all up and we sold it for $105 plus $15 post. So we sort of just 
pick them up and we have a big stack in the kitchen big of stack. ones that we're just waiting to complete the set but it's worth stashing away if you can get the complete set heck yeah we make at least fifty dollars profit every time we sell a set it's a set number three mostly it just fills my heart with joy though another item from that third bulk deal we did this time crisis raising storm for ps3 we sold for $23.95 including postage. We will track that one because it's over 20 bucks. So probably gonna make, you know, 10 bucks on that after all our fees, shipping and cost of goods. I listed it yesterday. All right, shed time. We picked everything from inside. There is no spiders, no spiders. You knew what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> and putting it on record, picking orders is my absolute favorite part of this whole job. I think I prefer picking orders to sourcing. What? Yeah. No. I enjoy this more than the sourcing part. How? Poll in the comments. Do you like finding the item outsourcing or do you like selling the item? I personally think that's outrageous because sourcing is way more fun. That's what it is. It's like a treasure hunt, scavenger hunt, same buzz. All right, these RM Williams jeans sold, stretched denim for $65 new with tags. They are in SH2. Buried in there, apparently. Jelly Rock and Retro Rescuers jumper. Shout out to Retros. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not feeling confident. You don't think it's in there? I think that we sold this, cancelled it, and it's in the stack inside. I hope so. I just got so anxious that I had to run inside and check, but it is these. And I actually had those in the satchel ready to send when they cancelled. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad we found it. Take and... two! <laughs> Levi's 504 going out the door for $42.95 in RMQ. Busted ass tub. Looking for size 38. 504 38. Nice, yes, $42.95. Alright, another sale from the RM lot we picked up just recently. $35 for this RM Williams white cotton striped long sleeve button up shirt. Pay $3.50 <laughs> per item on these, so $35 is okay. All right, we've got a Harley Davidson women's tie-dye shirt sold for forty dollars in LR twenty. It's the one with like all the different prints in it, so hopefully it stands out a little bit. Nope. The there, <laughs> That's him. Woo. We sold this G-Star men's purple label Western shirt for twenty nine dollars. This is in M. Now this had some damage to it, so we made a mistake when we were sourcing, so make sure you check everything over. Luckily it did sell for $29. Originally I think we paid about $6, $7 on it, so we still made a little bit of money. I think it's in the bottom corner just here. That one, I reckon, is it? No, you big old liar. Get this one. There you go. It's actually pretty cool looking. Yeah, it is a nice shirt, but with the damage. Check your stuff. Hey, we sold this Adelaide Crows Vintage AFL Fila long sleeve supporter polo for $50. Down in LD60, Ooh. I think. This is where the spider was last. Last sighting of the spider. Traumatized. Something Adelaide Crows, is it? Yeah. Oh, no, that's poor power. Is it this? Yeah. Probably could have got a bit more out of that because that is an awesome long sleeve, but not quite vintage. So, all right, another RM Williams item going out from that last lot that we picked up. We paid three dollars fifty an item. This RM Williams vintage men's moleskin yellow. That's sexy. Should be in the old twenty. Don't you just love that logo? I do. I get very happy when I see that. Oh my god. Eighty nine ninety five on that. So keep your eye out for that <laughs> older style RM Williams logo. And if it is a moleskin, which is a thicker cotton, you're going to make some very good money. RM Williams item going out the door. We sold this women's Nicole short sleeve button up shirt for 55 free postage. Should be down in that tub and just there. Pee. Gingham for days in here. You're looking for size 10. Well, that's a 12. Bingo! We got ourselves a little super dry sale. We paid $4 for this super dry men's super state blue polo. We don't pick super dry up unless it's like really cheap, especially in polos. Um, we will pick up jackets and stuff if the price is right, but four into 39 on that one. 
All right, we sold one of these Iron Williams women's long sleeve blue lady graziers. We had a couple of these, so there's one left in stock. You're looking for a size 10, and we sold that for $55. It's oh, like a dark that's right. Blue. They're doing a little bundle of the couple of shirts. Lady grazier. Ten. Oh, yes. All right, we sold another Clara skirt. These are starting to pop off now. LR3, <laughs> we sold for $65, and you're looking for size 14. This is interesting with like certain styles that you have multi quantities. It can sit for ages, and then you sell one, and it's like it triggers something. Just gets now, that sales volume, hey? It's always one of these in every picking video. We sold like three in the last like three weeks. Yeah. We sold that little Princess Highway purple floral embroidered pullover that Jazzy picked up couple weeks ago for seven bucks we sold it for 39.99 so decent return on that but it was more the Where more the experience of that one yeah definitely pick that one up for the style because there is heaps of princess highway listed on ebay so it's kind of got to stand out and it's got to be the right price and it's got to be in the tub where is it where was it why am i like this a hot tip don't just leave the things you're listing stacking up Put it in your tub straight away. Don't don't be jazz. So also from that stack that Jazzy had inside, we had these RM Williams white denim jeans we sold for 40 bucks. So they hadn't even made it to the shed yet. Inventorying is happening this afternoon. Second last item is this RM Williams men's beige full zip jacket on the rack. We need to get through that rack and clear some of the older stuff. $69.99 out the door. We just had another sale from that bulk lot, $29.95 for the Oracle of Shadows and Light. I see sales in our future. <laughs> all right, that's all our sales from this weekend so far. Let's get into the numbers for that bulk lot that we've been tracking. Tally it up. We have now sold $1,488.35. Post has cost us $186.69. Fees of $223.25, meaning at the moment we have made $1,078.41 back on that lot. So we still have quite a bit to go. I have done a bit of a tally of what's left listed and there is quite a lot left to go. So hopefully we start getting some of those sales through, a couple more items to list. Let us know in the comments what your best sale of the week was and we will see you next time on Torsi Thrifters. Bye for now. We sold this G-Star Women and we just had another one 